Dr. Karina Gonzalez is a neurologist at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls who helps diagnose epileptic seizures through an EEG. So EEG stands for electroencephalogram. Um, that is a test that measures the brain activity, uh, the electrical brain activity. Um, and we usually use that test uh, when we're working on figuring out what's going on in patients that have seizures or seizure-like events. An EEG works by gluing many wires to a person's scalp, and the tips of those wires have electrodes, which record the electrical signals in the brain. When first diagnosing someone with an epileptic seizure, Dr. Gonzalez starts with a routine EEG. They're going to be awake during the test, so we can see what the brain waves are doing when they're awake. And then usually we would like them to also fall asleep, so we can see what the brain waves are doing when they're sleeping. How a seizure is diagnosed is through the signals. Dr. Gonzalez says neurologists know what normal signals and patterns should look like in the brain, and the EEG results help them look for abnormal patterns. People with, that suffer from epileptic seizures, we see sparks of abnormal electricity that should not be present um, and is captured during that test. Dr. Gonzalez says there are other long-term EEG tests that help diagnose other kinds of seizures. She also says some tests will show normal brain activity with a person who has epileptic seizures. You can still be having epileptic seizures and have epilepsy, and then you can have a lot of those brief EEGs that are normal. So you don't need to have an abnormal EEG to be diagnosed with epilepsy. Uh, and that is very important to know because some people will still have seizures, right, and they are diagnosed with epilepsy, and they had a lot of short EEGs, and the EEGs are normal. In those instances, she recommends patients to discuss with their doctor about the test. Dr. Gonzalez says patients usually take one EEG test to be diagnosed with epilepsy or an epileptic seizure, and don't have to take any follow-up tests. However, they can do another EEG test later if a patient asks for it. Let's say you had one seizure, your EEG was initially abnormal, and then you have gone a lot of years without any seizures, and you would like to know, can I be off my anti-seizure medication? In those cases, we will order an, a new EEG to see what's going on with your brain, electricity, and see if that might be okay for you to get off the medication. Dr. Gonzalez ends with saying if a patient thinks they have a seizure, getting an EEG will help with finding out which type of seizure they have and how they can go forward. Let's say you, ha you have a generalized epilepsy, epilepsy and you're given some specific medications, those meds can actually make it worse and not better. So in those scenarios, it might be helpful to know exactly what type you have so it can help with treatment.